Welcome back to another episode of MotoGP Mac, and today we're going to talk about the Thai Grand Prix that just happened at the Chang International Circuit this morning. Now, it was won by Jorge Martin from Peco Banyaya, Brad Binder, Marco Bisecchi, Alicia Spagaro, Fabio Quadrero, Marc Marquez, Luca Marini, Fabio Di Giantonio, Johan Zerko, Franco Morbidelli, Joan Mir, Enia Bastanini, Takanakagami, Raul Fernandez, Jack Miller, Augusto Fernandez, and Paul Spagaro was the last one across the line. Maverick Vinales retired with a technical issue. Alex Marquez did have a spectacular crash, to be fair, when, while in third place. And Miguel Oliveira also had a technical issue. Now, Martin was absolutely faultless throughout this Grand Prix. You could see he was mining the tyre. The pace was not so much that he was bolting away. But, you know, you knew that he was definitely learning from last weekend's race in Australia where he burnt out the tyre. Um, now, he was on the same tyres as everyone else this week, so but he was managing the tyre, really good pace. Um, was passed by Binder towards the end of the race, but did make an absolute mega pass back. The race itself, you know, was really hotting up towards the end of the of the of the race. Peko Banyaya finished in second, although he crossed the line in third. Uh, he did gain second with Binder having a green line issue again or green paint issue again. So track limits coming back to haunt uh, Binder. Peko, I thought. You know, he got beaten up at the start of the race. You know, his his start was good. Um, I think he was up to fourth. He dropped to seventh. Um, and, you know, he was there or thereabouts. Like, the, the last five or six laps were absolutely amazing with himself, Binder, and Martin together. You know, if one of them touched the other, you know, someone was going to benefit. Uh, but overall, it was a good enough race for Peko. I was... I was happier to see his pace running today than it was yesterday because yesterday was a, just a disaster for him. Brad Binder, probably one of the unluckiest men in, in the paddock. He always seems to touch track limits. And today was no exception on the last lap, turn four, touched the green paint, and his second place was uh, then demoted to third. He was absolutely brilliant today. You know, really kept... Jorge Martin, very, very honest, did take the lead, but he tried to pull the pin, but his tyre was was gone at that stage. You could see it, Joe, he couldn't pull away, and then Martin came back at him at the end of the straight uh, a couple of laps later. Uh, but overall, it was a really, really good race for him. Marco Bisecchi, same as well, you know, got a terrible start, and... You know, he was coming through the field. I was kind of a bit worried that he was going to use an awful lot of tyre, but uh, he got into fourth. All but his championship is now over, if I'm very, very honest. Alicia Spagro, what a pit bull of a dog today. He had to do some battling. He had a great titanic battle with uh, Marc Marquez, touching and you know, definitely some hot uh, Spanish words I would say being spoken between the boat riders after but really really good race for him you could see he just didn't have the the outright pace but he was close enough in, in my my opinion Fabio Quadrero, you know definitely what a difference a day makes yesterday was a was a terrible day for him you could see he had the pace um but obviously not front running pace but really really good solid result uh, Mark Marquez Really, really good result, outperforming where, where he thought he would be for the weekend. Uh, you could definitely see him hustling the bike around the circuit, so it was definitely really good to watch. Uh, and his battle with Alicia Spagaro was just mighty. Luca Marini uh, got a great start, you know, uh, was there. Very, very difficult to pass Marini on the brakes, have to admit. Uh, you could see that you know, the, the, the likes of Heco are, and them were definitely struggling to, to get past him, but... But he faded towards the, the end of the race. Definitely took too much out of his tyres. Solid race again from Fabio Di Antonio. You know, really good. Uh, you know, still unemployed. I think, though, he is going to go to Honda. Uh, Johan Zerko, 10th place. Kind of expected a little bit more from Zerko. You know, especially after breaking his duck last weekend. And thought there would be a little bit more confidence there. Uh, Franco Morbidelli, good, solid the race for him you know i know it's 11th place but you know 
he is the best of the rest. Let's just call it that way. You know, the of the usual people that are down towards the back. Um, so a good solid race for him. Joan Muir again did quite well. Again, he was coming from nineteenth place. And uh, so with Bastanini, he was he was down towards the back as well. So good good race for him. Better race today for Takanakagami than yesterday. Definitely more on the pace. You know, fifteen seconds behind the race leader, which is not bad after a full Grand Prix distance compared to yesterday's sprint. Raúl Fernández, you know, he did well today. He was actually in the top ten, but he faded. Um, you could see that uh, he was in a little bit of trouble with his tires towards the towards the end. Uh, one of the biggest disappointments, I suppose, this weekend for me was Jack Miller. I thought he would do a little bit better, but then kind of thinking of it in hindsight, you know, this race was really about minding tires, and that's not Jack's uh, forte. So 16th place for him, not so good. Uh, surprised also with Augusto Fernandez. You know, I thought he would do a little bit better than he did. And Polo Spagro, he did, I think it was Polo Spagro went off at one point, just ran wide, um, but he kind of went out to the car park and, and back in. All in all, I thought it was an absolutely epic race. Thailand absolutely 100% delivered. Championship is closing down now, 13 points in it. You know, next weekend is a weekend off finally for, for, for the riders, and then we're into three on the bounce again, and these are the deciding ones. So pressure cooker is definitely definitely there i do think Biseki is while not mathematically out of the championship i think he is out of the championship if i'm honest um unless he wins absolutely everything and the lads crash a couple of times uh which anything can happen i suppose but definitely overall epic race definitely war of attrition war of tires war of fuel and i thought it was very interesting when they were going to the grid how slow the bikes went out going to the grid to try and save the petrol in the bikes but definitely one of the grand prix of the year australia and thailand have absolutely delivered an apps an epic epic couple of weekends racing that uh three-way battle today though will live long in my memory for for multiple different reasons absolute on the edge of adhesion taking the fight to each other not letting it go, uh, not settling, absolutely amazing. But for that reason, I can't really pick a rider of the day because they were all epic. Like, Binder was as good as Martin. Peko was as good as Binder. So Alicia Spagro was 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 battling with, with Marquez. There were so many riders out there that it's impossible for me to pick. But I would definitely love to know your thoughts. What did you think of the Thai Grand Prix and who was your writer of the day. Definitely leave your thoughts in the comments below and I'll be back again tomorrow with another video.